A Tekken 7 modder added impressively detailed Elden Ring characters and everyone thinks it's an official mod. Marvel's Avengers has a game-breaking bug on PlayStation 5 with a fix that deletes campaign progress? And the survival horror game Abandoned that was thought to have been abandoned looks like it's just delayed. This is your Daily Fix. <laughs> A new Tekken 7 mod lets players bring Elden Ring characters to the roster and it's so good people think it's official. The mod replaces Tekken characters with Elden Ring counterparts. For example, Melina replaces Lydia, Melania replaces Kunimitsu, Rani the Witch replaces Kazumi, and Alexander the Iron Fist replaces Gigas. The mod even includes a big old lobster replacing Heihachi. I always knew Heihachi was quite shellfish. The details on the Elden Ring characters like Melina, Ronnie, and even the lovable pop boy Alexander are so impressive. Tekken director Katsuhiro Harada tweeted his thoughts on the mod, stating, Um, sure, Elden is a Bandai Namco funded title, and I was the production general manager in charge of Elden, so it's not irrelevant. It's ridiculously well made mod, but please stop it. You probably don't know, but there are surprisingly many people who think this is official one or make various misunderstandings and contact us. I don't say anything for your personal enjoyment, but I want you to know that there are people in your community who make noise based on misunderstandings. Makes sense. So if you decide to play this highly unofficial Tekken mod, just be like Hihachi and keep this impressive asset all to yourself. Speaking of unsanctioned add-ins, Marvel's Avengers has a game-breaking bug on PlayStation 5 and the only way to fix it right now is to delete all your campaign progress. Yeah, wild, right? Players have reported that a bug in the Marvel's Avengers game on PlayStation 5 causes the game to crash every time it's loaded, making the game unplayable as a result. Marvel's Avengers Twitter account responded with a solution that many aren't too happy about since it results in a player's campaign progress to entirely reset. The workaround instructs players to force close the game from the PlayStation home screen after resetting their reassembled campaign progress from operations. The Twitter account reassured players with our team is continuing to investigate the issue causing a crash for some PlayStation 5 players. We think we've identified a fix that is currently being implemented, tested. We hope to have more news by tomorrow morning and we'll continue to keep you updated. The game breaking bug also comes at the worst possible time during a double XP and resource week spanning from March 24th to March 31st. But as a result of the bug, PlayStation 5 players have missed out on a large portion of the event and are requesting an extension. This also isn't the first time Marvel's Avengers has had issues with their game as fans last year were in an uproar when paid XP boosts were added following the move to Game Pass and also when Crystal Dynamics removed boosts from in-game marketplace. I'm just going to say it, I think maybe Marvel's Avengers is cursed. Let me know if you agree in the comments. In a sad turn of events, abandoned the survival horror game that quickly went viral after it was rumored to be linked to Silent Hill and Hideo Kojima looks to have maybe been abandoned. Or so we thought. According to Twitter user Lance McDonald, the studio behind the game Blue Box has deleted most of its tweets regarding plans for the game. There has been zero mention of the game's progress from developers recently. Last year, an app was revealed that introduced an interactive approach to play Abandon, but it was just a menu screen with nothing new. Blue Box has now deleted most tweets that detailed future plans for a demo to be released really soon, which has sparked rumors that maybe there wasn't even a game to begin with. Fortunately though, Blue Box has released this tweet today that the game is still in the works and though Abandoned Prologue was initially planned for Q1 2022, that will be delayed until it's stable, good, and ready to release. So there's hope for Abandoned. We just have to be forgiving for the delay and nip these cancellation rumors in the butt. Capish? There's also the new Slitterhead by the new studio from Silent Hill creator Keichiro Toyama. So that's something to look forward to and potential rumors that Konami might be making a new Silent Hill game. So yeah, just sit tight and be patient. That was your Games Fix for today, March 31st. Will you download the Elden Ring Tekken mod? Let me know in the comments. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. For everything else, just stick to IGN. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.